Good Tuesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside that weather window and cloudy skies throughout our day today as we look down the Columbia River. And you can see Turtle Rock there in the left center part of your screen and plenty of clouds out there. That's ahead of a storm system that is moving in on us. How much snow will we get? Well, not that much here in the Wenatchee area. We're talking about tonight into a Wednesday, oh, early evening or so, and maybe a skiff of snow for Wenatchee. We're that sliver of dry land there in the midst of that blue on your map. But I'll tell you what, to our west, a lot more snow. And if you're traveling down the Highway 2 or I-90 corridor into Spokane, you could run into three or four inches of snow there and even more if you go into the Panhandle of Idaho. So it looks like, at least for now, that we will kind of be in between the heaviest snowfall from the storm that comes tonight and into tomorrow. We'll talk much more about that and a warming trend headed our way. We'll do that a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following Following for you tonight, a week after setting himself on fire in a moving car as Wenatchee police closed in, Quan Ho Pham remains under intensive care with severe burns. Both men involved in a November burglary and theft of a school bus at Palisades School have now pleaded guilty. And staffing shortages have led the Grant County Jail to temporarily reduce visiting hours for maximum and medium security inmates. But first, we begin tonight. Wenatchee police say an 18-year-old suspect set out to intimidate the victim of an armed robbery. Prosecutors charged Brian Solis on Monday with a single count of witness tampering. He's he allegedly sent threatening Snapchat messages to a victim robbed by Alan Meza Duarte, who pleaded guilty last month and received a one-year prison sentence. Solis was booked into the Chelan County Jail on Thursday. He remains there on $50,000 bond. Well, a week after setting himself on fire as Wenatchee Valley police closed in, Quan Ho Pham remains under intensive care with severe burns. Pham, whose friends call him Tim, apparently doused himself in gasoline on January 27th and struck a flame as police tried to stop his car in the 1700 block of North Wenatchee Avenue. He was on the run after a domestic violence incident in which he allegedly threatened his ex-wife and child with a machete inside the Wenatchee Valley Mall. Police extinguished the flames and EMTs took Pham to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. A spokeswoman there says as of tonight, Pham is still in critical condition in the hospital's ICU. Both men involved in a November burglary and theft of a school bus at Palisades School have now pleaded guilty. Jordan McCullough Cheney, who's 19, was the latest to enter his plea in Douglas County Superior Court on Monday to counts of burglary, motor vehicle theft, and obstruction. Devin R. Taylor, who's 27, pleaded to similar charges back in January. The two men broke into the small rural school November 2nd and stole tools, fuel, an air compressor, and the school's only bus. Both await sentencing. Prosecutors plan to recommend a five-year prison term for Taylor, who has several prior convictions. McCullough Cheney could be sentenced to drug rehab. Well, staffing shortages have led the Grant County Jail to temporarily reduce visiting hours for maximum and medium security inmates. Instead of the usual 5 to 10 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday visiting hours, the visits will end at 8 p.m. those days with no visits now between 6 and 6.30 p.m. Each county jail in the region sets its own hours with the Chelan County Regional Justice Center allowing visits Monday through Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. and on weekends at 1, 2, and 3 p.m. Meanwhile, the Okanagan County Correction Center only allows visitors on Fridays between 1 and 4 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays from 8 to 11 a.m. and again from 1 to 4 p.m. Well, coming up next, the 2019 average annual non-farm job growth in the Wenatchee area saw the slowest growth rate in the past eight years. The Chelan County PUD has a chance to buy a piece of property along the Wenatchee River that could be used to extend the Apple Capital Loop Trail. And the city of Chelan has delayed its purchase of 9.8 acres of lakefront property called Spader Bay while issues over access are resolved. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News.
When it comes to finding a memory care community, you want the very best. You want to know that your loved one is safe and receiving compassionate care in a loving environment. Fieldstone Memory Care is an innovative assisted living community designed for those with Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. You'll find a community specifically designed to enrich residents' lives. The Fieldstone team is here to help you navigate the important decisions you face when a loved one has dementia or Alzheimer's. Welcome home to Fieldstone. It's a marvelous markdown at Sangster Buick GMC. Hi, Corey Sangster, and we're ending the year with a bang. Take advantage of employee pricing on a great selection of new Buick and GMCs. 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 Crew SLT was savings over 11000 Or this 2019 Buick Encore all-wheel drive up to $7,000 off. Or choose employee pricing. Before you buy, compare price, service, and selection. December is a marvelous markdown at Sangster Buick GMC or SangsterMotors.com. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest Craft Beers and 30 Chelan Valley Wines and Ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. Welcome back. In another news, the 2019 average annual non-farm job growth in the Wenatchee area saw the slowest growth rate in the past eight years. That according to a report released this morning by the State Employment Security Department. The 2019 job growth rate in the Wenatchee area was 0.4 percent. Preliminary estimates also indicate that the Wenatchee Metro Statistical Area average annual, not seasonally adjusted unemployment rate in 2019 was 5.2 percent. That's up four tenths of a percent over 4.8 percent in 2018. On the positive side of things, the local economy posted a historically low unemployment rate in December 19 of 2019 of 3.5%. The Wenatchee civilian labor force has also expanded year over year in 29 of the past 30 months. The Chelan County PUD has a chance to buy a piece of property along the Wenatchee River that could be used to extend the Apple Capital Loop Trail and open up access for people to fish on the Wenatchee River. The quarter acre property and home near the site of the PUD's planned new service center and old station would cost the PUD $300,000. PUD commissioners are expected to vote on the purchase at their February 18th board meeting. Shared Services Director Dan Fraser told commissioners on Monday the land purchase is a great opportunity. This gives us the ability to extend the, the loop trail into this area. Also provides us some unique um, opportunities around that parcel in particular. So here's a close up of the parcel itself. Uh, it's about a quarter acre. Uh, it's, about, it's got a thousand square foot house, 1100 square foot house on it. Uh, it is it has been occupied, although the tenant was moving out just last week. Uh, it, now, what's really interesting about this piece and, and the other pieces, if I go back to this, uh, from the, uh, I can follow my cursor here, uh, from the bridge all the way along the river here, there's a 25 foot fishing easement. And so what, this gives uh, access to that fishing easement, which was only previously able to be accessed from the river. So you can bring a boat up and fish from the bank, but you didn't have a way of physically getting down to that easement because it was all private ownership along there, and there was no public access to the waterfront itself. So with our plans of uh, getting all this in PUD ownership, and then we can provide hopefully trail access and maybe even um, some additional uh, viewing access. So one of the reasons we like this parcel is it is it's in the riparian zone, but there's actually a structure on it. So that structure is grandfathered in to the development moratoriums around work in the riverfront. <clears throat> and so what this allows us to do is potentially be able to put something like a gazebo or a viewing platform or something else on that site. And it's been talked about for quite a while is to do something that would uh, pay homage to the Haran house itself. So. We don't know what that looks like. We've actually just engaged with some discussions with the local architect about you know, someone that really knows the history of the Haran House and the architecture. What could we do on this site? And we're working with the city to make sure we understand what we could do with this house footprint as it currently sits. And, and do we need to keep a portion of the house or just the foundation? Or do we have the area that's uh, currently delineated as a location for a viewing platform? 
And then also just down at the very bottom of this, there's a low bank access that comes with this property. And so we could actually provide physical access. It comes across the Tontini property, but then down onto this property. So really key piece for us to be able to provide the recreational opportunities that we've been talking about. Meanwhile, the city of Chelan has delayed its purchase of 9.8 acres of lakefront property called Spader Bay, while issues over access are resolved. The city council voted last November to buy the property for $400,000 as part of its effort to preserve and enhance public access to Lake Chelan. But an easement to the site has proven to be a stumbling block. Under the purchase agreement, if access easements weren't secured by today, the city had the option of terminating the purchase. Last week, the council voted to extend the agreement by 90 days while the owners, sisters Linda Parlett and Terry O'Neill, try to get agreement on the easement from neighboring property owner Vindelac Winery. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. Arctic Refrigeration and Heating has been serving North Central Washington for 34 years. Arctic provides the finest heating and cooling air quality products for residential and commercial customers along with prompt and professional customer service. Arctic also offers specialty services like custom sheet metal fabrication of ductwork, coil cleaning, as well as planned fall and spring maintenance for the overall well-being of your system. Arctic is available for emergency calls 24-7. Call Arctic Refrigeration and Heating for your heating and cooling needs. The two hottest pickups in America are at Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. First, the Ram 1500 with back-to-back -back Truck of the Year awards from Motor Trend, and now the Car and Driver 10 Best List for 2020. They call it a luxury sedan with pickup capabilities. Ram is on a roll now with third-generation eco-diesel power. Next up, the Jeep Gladiator, also a 2020 10 Best model based on the new award-winning Jeep Wrangler. It has options and capabilities that no other truck can offer. Two more reasons when it comes to buying a truck, there's no reason to leave town. Family roles change with time. You may find yourself being an unpaid caregiver to a loved one. Caregiving can be rewarding, but also stressful. Taking care of yourself is vital. Aging and Adult Care of Central Washington has low or no cost services for unpaid caregivers, such as in-home support, care supplies, and counseling. Connect in your local area by calling Aging and Adult Care at 800-572-4459 and mention you're interested in caregiver support. This is Caitlin Hedersheet, the producer of the NCW Life magazine. Each week, I'm bringing you a look behind the scenes of the faces, places, and events that make North Central Washington the place we call home. Tune in every weekday for an in-depth look at a new topic each week. From local artists in their studios to businesses breaking barriers that might surprise you and everything in between. Join me on the NCW Life magazine right here on the NCW Life channel. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. Lauren Culp is currently the police chief for the town of Republic. His campaign for governor began last year with his refusing to enforce the voter-approved gun control initiative 1369 on constitutional grounds. In tonight's feature story, Culp argues that the current administration's policies relating to the state's homeless crisis are failing. Culp says more needs to be done to address narcotics addiction, which he sees as one of the root causes of homelessness in many places. A lot of places are decriminalizing possession of heroin, right? Mm -hmm. In Seattle, I think last I heard you could have six grams of heroin on you and the police won't arrest you because the prosecutors won't prosecute. Mm -hmm. So that, like I said, I was a narcotics detective for three years. If you do something like that, you create a vacuum for more and more people that use drugs to come from other states even and swarm to those areas and that's why there's this big boom in people on the street. They call it compassion on the left, but it's absolutely the opposite of compassion. So I would then assume that you would think that our state's experiment with legalizing recreational marijuana, do you feel the same way about that? Recreational marijuana, I, I don't personally use marijuana. No, but I, I never plan on it. Um, but with marijuana, I mean, it's not good for you, obviously. Smoking cigarettes is not good for you. It's legal in this state now. 
And but as far as the police officers are concerned, um, I didn't see the level of violence and degradation of life as with heroin and methamphetamine. Um, we didn't really focus on it, uh, well, especially after it was legalized. But I've never had anyone that has been high on marijuana want to fight me mm -hmm. or want to um, kill themselves. You know, they smoke their joint and eat some Doritos and go to sleep. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast before we get to those details. Outside our weather window and what a beautiful shot down the Columbia River at Turtle Rock, which is right there. Still a little bit of snow hanging out in the uh, tops of the Cascades and the foothills, but boy, not much snow for this time of year. We were talking about it in the newsroom today. Just no snow. Remember last February, it started snowing, I think the 2nd of February, and it just didn't shut off for the entire month. We set a record last year in February of 25 inches of snow. Doesn't look like we're going to do that this year. In fact, we do have a storm coming. We'll talk about that in a second. But as far as high temperatures go today, it was a chilly one out there. Only 30 degrees unofficially for our high today. And as you can see, that's well below where we should be for this time of year at 39. 23 was our overnight low. So we did start off a little bit on the cool side and it took a little while to get to that 30, but we did make it. 27 is our normal low. 58 our record high. And for the second day in a row, it was set just two years ago back in 2018. Record Record low two below in 1989. Sunrise this morning 723 and the sun sets now at 507 almost right now when we do weather. Let's take a look now at uh, what we can expect as we move into your Wednesday hump day forecast and really things won't be bad. It'll be much, much warmer for Wednesday. We're not going to see any more 30s for a while. Once again, 43 Moses Lake, low 40s for Afreda and Quincy. We will see 42 in Wenatchee, 41 the high temperature in Ellensburg and then a little bit cooler in the higher elevations and even cooler up in Omac in Okanagan County. You'll sit at 35 for your Wednesday high temperature surface loop. Now as we go through tonight, we'll see clear cloudy skies. It will be calm. Maybe a few isolated snow showers. You can see we're kind of surrounded here in the Wenatchee area. I showed you that graphic earlier uh, by snow. I think the heaviest snow will be here around Spokane and in the western part of the state as we move into your Wednesday. Increasing clouds, much warmer, so that first band of moisture moves through. Here's our second frontal boundary, but the thing with that one is a warm front also associated with that, so we will see much warmer temperatures Wednesday into Thursday. Thursday will be our best chance chance for rain at 60%. It will be a little bit breezy on Thursday. Keep that in mind as well and mild as a, a little ridge of high pressure builds over us. Here's our storm system for Friday with some fog in the morning, cloudy skies and a 30% chance of mainly evening showers. We're talking a rain event, so if you are traveling on Friday, no worries there. Saturday, cloudy skies, a 40% chance of rain. We're talking pretty much the whole inner mountain west for Saturday with some some sort of moisture. It looks like some heavy rain even possible around the Puget Sound area on Saturday. As we move into the end of the weekend now on Sunday and beyond, things look very nice. Sunshine on Sunday and dry. We will see temperatures on Sunday once again above normal in the mid to upper 40s. Same goes for Monday as we get into next week. Look at all the clear skies, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and still warm with once again high temperatures. You can see 40s into even the mid and upper 50s. Let's take a look now at your Patriot Plumbing, Heating and Cooling 7 day forecast 27. So about where we should be for overnight lows tonight. And there's that warm up from today into tomorrow. 42 degrees, increasing clouds, a chance for showers Wednesday night into Thursday. And then Thursday will be our best chance for moisture, a 60% chance of rain. 47 Thursday and 47 on Friday as well, mostly cloudy. And then another chance for maybe some scattered showers on Saturday. But really not bad cloudy in 45 and then sunshine won't that be nice on Sunday and Monday sunny Sunday mostly sunny Monday with high temperatures then in the middle 40s and that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW life evening news continues right after this. With TV advertising, what we want to do is more deeply connect with the community. People spot me in different parts around North Central, you know, Costco and Wenatchee say, hey, you're the pizza guy. And so they wouldn't know that if it weren't for the, for the TV commercials we've done. We've been here so long that people already know who we are and what we do, but to have that 
image flash on their television screen as opposed to just hearing in the radio or seeing in the newspaper. I just love the fact that we can actually put our finger on when a customer comes in and says, I saw your ad. It's becoming increasingly difficult in this digital age to know where are your customers listening or watching, because I watch all the different channels that they watch too, like Cooking Channel, History Channel, and so it was wonderful to be able to be on there. I would say that uh, if you want to do business in Wenatchee, then you should connect with the people of Wenatchee, and there's no better way to do that than with NCW Life. Bring the whole family up to Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house in historic downtown Chelan. Applewood smoked brisket, street style tacos, and our award-winning barbecue rubs and sauces. Our meals pair perfectly with our exciting lineup of craft ales, made right here in Chelan. We've got room for big groups, or give us a call for catering. So grab the kids and check out the fun at Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house located in the heart of Chelan. Reinventing FaceTime here at Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa, a new family owned and operated business located in the heart of downtown Wenatchee, owner Andrew Vickery brings forth years of experience to help you transition your backyard into a place where memories are made, family time is looked forward to, and friends are always welcome. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa offers many different styles and sizes of artesian spa. Let us help you add hydrotherapy to your already healthy lifestyle. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Live channel. And a happy Tuesday to you. Pitchers and catchers report to spring training in Peoria, Arizona for the Seattle Mariners in just eight days. A particular pitcher, however, is reportedly all smiles today. Former Wenatchee Apple Sox Marco Gonzalez had his contract with the Mariners extended Monday through the 2025 season with a team option for 2026. Now the veteran atop the Seattle starting rotation, Gonzalez was already in a contract through this season that would pay him a million dollars. His new contract is reportedly worth $30 million. Mariners' first Cactus League game coming up on Saturday, February 22nd. Well, the wait is over for Seahawks legend Steve Hutchinson, who this summer will be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Hutchinson, one of the best offensive linemen of his era, was one of five modern era selections for the 2020 Hall of Fame class, along with safety Troy Polamalu, receiver Isaac Bruce, safety Steve Atwater, and running back Edrin James. And announced on Saturday, a first-round pick in 2001 draft, Hutchinson earned All-Pro honors three times and was a three-time Pro Bowler during his five seasons as the Seahawks left guard. He provided blocking for Sean Alexander in Seattle before going on to Minnesota, blocking for Adrian Peterson. Hutch played six years with the Vikings before ending his career in 2012 with Tennessee. He was a seven-time Pro Bowler, five-time first-team All-Pro, and played in 169 games in his 12-year career. Well, taking a look at the basketball schedule for tonight on the girls' side in a Central Washington Athletic Conference play, Efreda hosts to Grandview, while Quincy takes on Othello. In the Caribou Trail League tonight, it's Olmack at Cascade, while Cashmere hosts Okanagan. And on the B floors, Enniette hosting Pateras, followed by Manson at Tenasket at 6 o'clock. Uh, the boys' schedule looks just about the same, only difference is the start times. Grandview plays at Efreda at 7.15. That's the same time for Quincy hosting Othello. Olmack tips at Cascade at 7.15 while Cashmere hosts Okanagan. Manson plays at Tenasket at 7.30 while Etiad hosts Pateras. Well, the Wenatchee Wild begin an arduous three-game road trip this week. Tomorrow night in Prince George, the puck drops in the rolling mixed concrete arena at 7 o'clock. Then on Friday, Wenatchee heads to Surrey, B.C. to face the Eagles at 7 at the South Surrey Arena. Finally, on Saturday, Wenatchee's at Prince George Preston Arena to face the Langley Rivermen. I should say they're at that particular arena, not in Prince George. They'll be at Langley. Uh, that's at 7.15 on Saturday. Now, all told, the Wild will travel 1,304 miles over the next five days. Say a little prayer for the boys as the season winds down to the BCHL. Wenatchee is currently fifth place in the Interior Division. They have locked up a playoff spot with 52 points, three behind Vernon, four back of Salmon Arm. Well, the BCHL Board of Governors approved a new configuration for the league beginning next season. 
With the expansion Cranbrook Bucks beginning their inaugural campaign next year, the board voted in favor of changing to a two-conference system with nine teams on each side. The Coastal Conference will consist of the current island and mainland division teams minus the Prince George Spruce Kings, while the Interior Conference will see Cranbrook added as well as Prince George. The league has also announced that it is moving from a 58 game scheduled to 54 as well as a later start date in September. Now coming up on the NCW Live sports schedule this week begins tonight. We'll rebroadcast the Wenatchee Eisenhower boys basketball game from back in January tonight. That's at 7 o'clock. Thursday hockey nights features the Wenatchee Wild and the D D Trail Smoke Eaters. That's at 7. Then on Friday, we'll be at Eastmont High School for the Wildcats game against the Davis Pirates. Girls game will be live on our Facebook stream at 545, but not on the air here until 630. After our evening news, the boys game will be live at 730 on Facebook and then live or on TV a little bit later at 8 o'clock. And it's not sports related, but we're suspending our sports Saturday so we can bring you a bunch of blossoms. We're kicking off the 2020 Apple Blossom Festival with a full evening of entertainment. It begins with the broadcast debut of the Apple Blossom documentary called A Lot of Fuss About a Parade. That'll be at 4 o'clock. Then you can meet the top 10 candidates at 530 with my interviews with the top 10 candidates. We begin our live coverage from Wenatchee High School with the countdown to coronation at 630 with yours truly and former Queen Julie A.J. Coots. And then at 7, it's the Cashmere Valley Bank Royalty Selection Pageant. This is all Saturday right here on the NCW Life Channel. That's a look at sports and more. I'm Eric Grandstrom. Grant, back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. And recapping tonight's top story, a week after setting himself on fire in a moving car as Wenatchee Valley Police closed in, Quan Ho Pham remains under intensive care with severe burns. Fom, whose friends call him Tim, apparently doused himself in gasoline on January 27th and struck a flame as police tried to stop his car in the 1700 block of North Wenatchee Avenue. He was on the run after a domestic violence incident in which he allegedly threatened his ex-wife and child with a machete inside the Wenatchee Valley Mall. Police extinguished the flames and EMTs took Fom to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. A spokeswoman there says as of tonight, Fom is still in critical condition in the hospital's ICU. Now let's check in with Eric Grandstrom in for Dan Koontz this week for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Eric? Well, on a hump day edition of Wake Up With Angie Valley, filling in again for Dan Kuntz, Eric Grandstrom, and we'll have another uh, couple of our interviews with the top 10 candidates for the Cashmere Valley Bank Royalty Selection Pageant. Tomorrow morning, we will introduce you to Jesse Weber and Tess Sparks. So be sure and join us for that. Of course, we'll get you the latest on the weather forecast, what's happening up in the mountains, your news, your sports, and so much more. It's right here on Wake Up With Angie Valley tomorrow morning at 7 on the NCW Life Channel. Thank you, Eric, and that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night. should never be a chore. Let Merry Maids of Wenatchee customize all your cleaning needs. Weekly, bi-weekly, special occasion. Do you have a vacation home that needs cleaning? We clean them too. Locally owned and operated, let Merry Maids do the cleaning while you focus on your family and friends. Merry Maids has special offers to fit your budget. Request your free cleaning estimate today. 509-663-1710. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. At Alpine Air, we think of ourselves as customer service oriented retailers. When you make an appointment, please visit our store, meet our people, see our shop. We are serious about heating and air conditioning. Carrier and Alpine Air are offering huge factory rebates and financing options for all your needs. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call for your free replacement estimate. Heat and air, call Alpine Air, 662-6846.
Hey there, Wenatchee, I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town.